Okay, so dear Dhamma practitioners, be comfortable yourself and relax your body. Keep your back straight, naked straight in one line and your right palm on your left. So gently close your eyes and bring your attention to this bell sound. And while you're focusing to the sound, mentally relax your body, relax your mind and relax your breathing with your thoughts. So do nothing extra. Just follow the sound, please. Namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhassa Namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhassa Namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhassa Homage to the blessed one the exalted one, the fully enlightened one. So dear Dhamma practitioners, when people start to practice meditation, they mostly think about to have a very comfortable, healthy mind. And at the same time, people nowadays coming to meditation to have a very good physical health. So then we have to understand this. The health depends on our mental condition. As you know, the science and the technology more advanced than any other time. But still, most of the doctors nowadays recommend to practice meditation. So what does that mean? So the mind creates a lot of disease which you can't prevent, which you can't cure by medicine. So, and at the same time, the whole sansara itself kind of like a disease. The whole life itself like a disease. And why it is became a disease? And how you can get the medicine out of meditation? So today we're going to look into that. So this will be very important for you, for your personal life. And at the same time, you can get a more deeper meaning and understanding regarding your practice. And it will make you more clear to recognize why you need to do this practice. And by the time when you practice, what are the benefits that you gain? And other thing is, just being healthy doesn't make any sense because by the time we're going to get old and uh, we're going to die, it doesn't matter how healthy we are. So then that you're healthy should invest for your spiritual life. So if the health can help you to become more spiritual person, more better person, more profitable person yourself, that health going to be more worth. So then we'll see how this meditation practice can help for us to, to gain that, the both physical development and the physical comfort 
and at the same time how it help us to gain the spiritual development so when it come to our body this physical body and the environment our life depend on three things one is time energy health this all go hand to hand time energy and the health so when it come to health it's first we have to take our physical body so the physical body mainly if we go deeper it has it depend on nerve system so if your nerve system shut down you die so then for the nerve system there are two kind of nerve system there are two characters so the one is sympathetic nerve system and another one is called parasympathetic nerve system so the very nature and the behavior of the nerve system this sympathetic nerve system it bring you, it that it brings your blood pressure high it brings the heat up that the most of time the stress and the when you feel high and the sweating so this kind of things bring out of the sympathetic nerve system the heat go up and if the sympathetic nerve system become too too much and too high too much active it create kind of like a acid inside your body it can lead you to have even the kind of like the cancer so that's why it's called the anger is a kind of like a major problem that leads us, us to to cancer and all other disease and other thing is if you get angry too much you are going to die soon so it is not a thought it is a pattern it is it is a system that work so we have to understand that so that is the very behavior of the sympathetic nerve system and uh, when the sympathetic nerve system allow you to body to break down it's it's another way is called plastic method and so in when you inhale so what happen your sympathetic nerve system to active it's it's activate inhale and the parasympathetic nerve system is the opposite side calm down make you more relax and uh, it brings it allow you to settle down and uh, when the sympath that the parasympathetic nerve system happens and the it another way it called that the blastic system the body build up and uh, exhalation active your parasympathetic nerve system in the ancient time in the eastern culture in yogic tradition this call in two different ways ida and pingala and in another way moon and sun this is what we call the right and left so as you know the, the 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 sun heat up the entire uh, the the body so then sympathetic nerve system related to the sun that way you can understand it very easily and the the parasympathetic nerve system related to the cool down so that is kind of like the the moon and another way inhalation and exhalation so this is our immune system this is our 
doctor. So it happened naturally. But it ha happened naturally and at the same time, it related to our thoughts. That's where the meditation is going to help for you. That is why that medication, in any pharmaceutical product, sometimes can't help you to settle down this system. So sympathetic nerve system and the parasympathetic nerve system always listen to your thought patterns. And the, the thought patterns so it has two, two characters. One is thought and other one is awareness, consciousness. So the thoughts are kind of like uh, symptoms. Thoughts come as a result of something. So the cause, the awareness, the deeper roots may be related to different things. And that in our day-to-day -day life, if we go with the thoughts, so what happens, you go, you're not going to see the, the cause, the roots of the thoughts. Why? Because it takes time for you to go with the thoughts. And when you interfere with the thoughts, you get out of the time. You lose the time. When you lose the time, you disconnect from your inner nature. Another way we call, when, as example, when you can't go with the time, we call it, call it, or we stuck. I feel like I stuck. So what is that stuck means? That's mean you can't go with the time. So mentally, mentally, when you feel stuck, what happened to you, your, your physical body? Because you are now, now, now remember the method you feel stuck, it is a feeling because your thought patterns, your consciousness can't go with the time and it stuck with the thought patterns. And as a result of that, you disconnect from the flow and the time. And as a result of that, you feel the stuck, the stuckness then, even though it is a, the mental state, now you start to gain it as a physical result. So then you, your nerve system start to respond. And you feel tightness and you become stressful and anxiety, depression, these things come. And with the majorly what happens the sympathetic nerve system start to too active. Why? Because you try to catch something that you miss and always struggle. Then you come to hyper action. It's difficult to calm down. Why? Because you can't calm down. Then the, when you try to calm down, your mind say, no, 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 no. Go, go for this, go for this. Because you missed a lot of things. You try to catch something. It's kind of like you late and you now drive and then you start to break all the, the rules. So when the mind go that way, what happened to your energy? Because the energy come out of the, the nerve system, then the energy collapse then you feel lack of energy and you, now you're stuck and the mentally you feel that uh, you're missing something that creates the fear. So once you have the fear, what happens? It again go back to your mental state. 
when the when we again go back to the mental state it deeply fit for your power of making choice listen this very carefully and understand see that once your own fear sabotage to your power of making decisions you done you don't have a life anymore you you have a life you have a body but you depend on lot of things so that is what it's go as a circle again and again again and again inside us and then what happens you try to get the help out of things so you lose that ability to to make decisions so what is the power of making choice mean power of choice means you become very conscious to take the right action according to the right time and you get aligned with the timing your your body and the mind and the energy align with the timing and go with the flow and when you have the conscious power to conscious when you have ability to take a conscious decision to take the right choice take the right decision at the right time your your entire energy going to become healthy and your body mind going to become healthy and it is it is a spiritual result why because when you deeply get into the meditation and develop the meditation what happens the wisdom means you start to take the right decision at the right time so even when it go to the the buddha's teaching eight four path that you know that all the eight things that related to the right that mean you have power to take the exactly the you have the power to choice that choice not going to come out of fear that not that choice not going to come out of emotions that choice not going to come out of following any kind of believing it's come out of the clarity that you have you develop within yourself to see how things come to be as they are so then the pinnacle of your health means making right choice so you are unhealthy means another way you can't take a choice you depend on something so how then we become unhealthy or healthy we are the one who create the environment inside us and the outside so that's mean your power of mind so the power of mind means the clarity of thoughts clarity of thoughts mean taking the the right decision at right time making the choice so then how that through the meditation it develop so as you know most of our time we too active with the the sympathetic nerve system that's why it is very difficult for us to relax nowadays as you know many kind of pharmaceutical products to make our system relax calm down why because our lifestyle make us more busy 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 the one reason is we trying to to go, trying to make things with the timing but still 
when we caught up with the thoughts, we lose the ability. So otherwise, why you can't be with the time? Because the time is the most, most important game changer. The time is the, the key point. Just look into yourself in, in a very conventional life. That's why the Buddha said as his last word, Appamadena Sampadeda. No, don't be late to do the right thing. The Buddha's last word. Why? Because the timing. Maybe you can have many things. You can have many houses. You can have many cars. You can have many partners. You can have many children. You know, you can have many husbands or many wives. You know, you can have so much money. But you can't have more time. So because once it lose, once it go, you can't bring it back. So then in day-to-day -day life, are you capable to tune to the time and understand? So what happens when we start to practice meditation, we start to tune to the right timing. So that's what called the present moment. Otherwise your mind always may be in the past or the future. So now with your inhalation, exhalation, you tune your awareness, tune to the, the right timing. So when the right timing happens, when the mind comes to that level, what happens, it doesn't look for something else. And it helps you to calm down your sympathetic nerve system and parasympathetic nerve system. Right? Now it naturally happens. You are not interfering with your inhalation, exhalation. So once the nerve system start to calm down and balance, so what happens this deeper, your energy going to find the balance. And now nerve system balance, your, the flow of energy in your body start to get the balance. And as a result of that, all the organs inside you start to get into the balance. That means it's natural function. So if it is, it was law, and it tuned to the right amount of frequency. If it is high, it brings back. So now your entire body tuned to the right frequency. So as a result of that, what happens? Your thoughts level and going to, to calm down. Because remember, the thoughts are symptoms of the, the desires. And the, the once the awareness are able to, to recognize this, once the thoughts become calmed down, the awareness become more clear. And once the awareness become more clear, what happens? So yourself, you're able to recognize that the, all the perception clearly. And it's kind of like a, you develop a self-collaboration version that the, the self-collaboration system inside you. So yourself, your awareness and with your own body and mind and with your own energy, you start to function itself. And as a result of that, when the, the, the perception become clear, the power of making decisions going to become more strong. Why? Because you can see what to do according to the right timing. And another way, appropriate, take appropriate actions, right action. 
So it is not a kind of like uh, thinking and posing yourself by effort you do. It is a very natural process. You, you tune to that level. And so then out of your bodily, verbally, mentally actions, things doesn't go wrong. Then there is no effort to, to hold something because your life itself become your wisdom. And your wisdom itself become your life. Then just imagine how comfortable it is. Then you no need any signboard, don't drive fast or kind of like that. Because you are tuned to the, the system and you know what is the speed that you need to drive. And then wherever you go and no need any signboard to tell, don't do this, don't do that. Why people need that? Because it try to remind us. Why? Because our mind not tuned to, to recognize that, to take the right decisions, to make the right choice according to the right timing and the space. Still, we can't do that. Still, just think about yourself. Forget about the, the society that outside with the communities, just yourself sometimes. Look into yourself. In a practice point of view, try to make a little challenge yourself and see, can you do that? To make the right choice at the right time in a very simple way, just even eating something. You know, you know that eating maybe that if you have the high, high blood pressure or the sugar or pressure, anything. This is still sometimes, you know, the doctors say, say, don't, don't eat this. And even sometimes yourself, you know, if you eat this, you're going to get sick. If you do this, you're going to get sick. You know that. So, but still, you, you have it, but still, when the time comes, why you lose the ability to make that right choice? Why you, do, why you go again for that? Why you do it again? From where that comes? What, what is the core energy that keeps you pushing towards that and challenge your own wisdom? What is that? You have to question it. Because you remember everything you can't get by listening. You can't get it. Just have to, you know, this is the, the Sangha. This Sangha will help you to, to map a little bit yourself. But you are the one who need to, to walk in this path and find out. Don't start to believe the map or worship the map. It doesn't, it doesn't help, you know, going to take you to that freedom no question yourself why why i i do this it is a fair question because you are the one who going to end of the day you are the one who going to to have this difficulty so then how you go in knowingly that why you do this and sometimes you know that all the 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 friends together, drink together, and one person die because of too much drinking. And seeing that all the other people that knew this friend died because of too much drinking. It's a very simple knowledge, but still people, other people not going to stop. Even his funeral day because of, you know, his friend died, they all gather and start to drink. How it come, how it happened like that way? You know, and sometimes, you know, you went through many, many partners and you know, you recognize it didn't, didn't work and it doesn't work like that way. But still, when you see somebody tomorrow, you think, oh, this is very good. 
you know, from where it come and why it come and how it challenge for your own wisdom. And the very one, one reason, so you have to understand, you don't have the ability to take the right choice at the right time. That's one reason. You make decisions, but you didn't develop that. That's why it happened to you that. You have to, you miss a lot of things in your deeper because you caught up only on thoughts. You didn't have power to go beyond the thoughts. To caught up on thoughts, you know, there are many reasons. We all have that. So then, how we can fix this? So in the beginning, settle down with the, the present moment. And observe the inhalation and exhalation. And in day-to-day -day life, so that is the me meditation practice. So it, ha it has a power, it has a way to go little by little, little by little deeper. But in day-to-day -day life as ordinary person, how you can do it? So one thing is, we are afraid for our own life. We are afraid for who we are. We, we are afraid for our own reality. You are afraid for your own light. You are afraid for your own liberation. You are afraid for your own success. You are afraid for your own wisdom. You are afraid for your own Nibbana. Question yourself. You have so much fear for that. So, so the very first thing then, you have to get out of it. So for that, you can't attack to the fear. You have to fix because the fear come as a result of something. So how you can fix that? And start to take decisions. So whatever you have to do, Maybe you are the only one at home. You have to do things. You know that. Just uh, for a, to have a very comfortable living. So, and you know you have to clean your bathroom. Because the neighbors not going to come and do that. You know. You have to, you know, you have to wash your cloth. No, any friends going to come and do that. You know, you are the one who need to do it. After you eat, you have to clean. You know, you are the only one is the, here and you are, you are the one who need to clean. No one going to come and do that. So then what you need to do first? Take the decisions to, to make the choice related to the time and make the action. And that make you healthy. So once you eat, if you, have, you are the one you have to clean, just clean it because that is the thing that you have to do at the right time. So do it. And when you see, oh, I have to clean my bathroom. So what you saw in that very moment, if you know that you have the time to do that, rather than watching TV, you know, or rather than just, uh, you know, what the president tried to talk today, just go and clean your bathroom. It is more make you healthy rather than listening to the, uh, the, this president news briefing. So like that, you make a decision. And just imagine, very simple example, you go to eat, you know, where you find a very expensive hotel. You go out, so you go for eat, and they, once they go there, you, you get the menu. And once you, see, you know, look at the menu, and you ask from the waiter, 
what should I eat? You know, I have seen that people do that. Why you ask from the waiter what you should eat? Why you should ask from the waiter what is good? Why you need the help like that way? Of course, as human beings, we need the help. It is a one part of the growth. But, the, but remember, the help, the help and the choice, when the both come together and if you hold the power to take the choice, your growth is going to happen. But by the, in, by, in case, if you, if you lose the, the power of choice and depend on the help, help you lose the life. So then, wherever you go, if you want to buy something, don't ask from the seller, should I buy this? And don't ask them, because somehow they try to sell. You know, don't ask them what is good, because whatever in that, you know, store, it's all good. They don't tell this is not good, this is not good like that. It's all good. They may say something, oh, this is good, buy this. Maybe if you depend on that, what will happen? So then develop the, in day-to-day -day life, make actions. Develop your power of making decision, choice. It creates kind of like a deeper strength in you. And when you make power of choice, even in the neuroscience, there is a neuro called mirror neurons. If you go online, anybody can find out about that information. Mirror neurons that make you calm. So when you make the power of choice, what happened, your brain start to activate and create these mirror neurons. And it help you to become calm. But if you depend on something, it depend on others, it depend on opinions, it depend on the, the something, what will happen? You become a debtor. So the in day-to-day -day life, then develop the power of making decisions and create get actions. By the time it develops, your ability to go with the time. And that is for your conventional life. So through the meditation, we go a little bit more deeper and we develop the entire system and develop the clarity and get, get into the clarity and following the inhalation, exhalation. So following inhalation, exhalation, allow your awareness to stay on the right moment rather than go with the thoughts. So that will help you to bring the clarity. So out of that clarity, you have the undisturbed mind. And the undisturbed mind, and at the same time, it develops the unification of the mind. That means that rather than a lot of thoughts, you have the self-discipline to, to, to go with your choice. Then there are no lot of options. So once you have this ability, you become very clear with the, the self-recognition. So when the perception happened right away, right at that very moment, you recognize. So that we call the direct perception. So then direct perception become your understanding. So your actions become your mind, your mind become your actions. And this this allow you to yourself to function, to take the, the right choice 
at the right moment deeply within your inside and within your environment. So that create a very powerful, it's a high skillful awareness yourself rather than go with the patterns, the methods or the, the emotions and you start to take very challenging actions, decisions. That's why the society is so afraid for your liberation. Why? Because they want you to go with the, the system. So when you get into the, the, your own power of, to make your own power of choice, decisions anymore you not depend from the system that's why even the during buddha's time a lot of people attacked to the buddha that's why a lot of people got mad with the buddha even today that's why people still destroy the buddha statues that's why they're afraid for the buddha's teaching why because it's allow you to not to go with any system. It makes you completely a person, self collaborate person to take a decision within your own recognition. That decision always going to be right for you and for others. But still, maybe it doesn't work for the system. It doesn't work for the society. It doesn't work for the, the culture, tradition. Why? Maybe the culture, tradition, society, system depend on the greed, hatred, and the delusion. This system doesn't work. Because the right things not going to go with the greed, hatred, and the delusion. So when you able to see the, the right things, maybe it is not going to be equal for the system. If the system is right, if the culture is right, if the society is right, you and me both know our life should be better than this. If the society, if the system, if the, our parents, ancestors, our grand grandparents, and if their whole life is so right, you and me should not sit like this and listening to this kind of things and try to practice meditation. Why? Because then if it is right, it should bring us the, the right result. But you and me both know we miss a lot of things in our life. And that's why we try to find that. So this is an ancient method from Buddha to enlightened masters to ancestors, our forefathers, somehow part of the society, they used to keep practice this. And when the society, the culture, tradition, one part of go with the greed, hatred and the delusion, another one, some part try to, to bring this. So you are today in the middle and you have power to, to make a choice. So then remember, ultimately, end of this day, our healthy life means, our liberation means, our enlightenment means, and the power of human mind means what? Taking the right choice. So with that, just get into a little bit practice piece. So your right palm on your left and make it straight in one line and be comfortable with your posture. In your right palm on your left, and make it straight in one line and be comfortable with your posture. 
we take a moment and think. We gathered here in this moment to practice this ancient meditation technique. All the Buddhas, all the enlightened masters followed this path and achieved wisdom. So we also gathered here to accumulate that knowledge. In this moment with this sitting, May my body become more comfortable. May my breath be more smooth. May no difficulties come to me. May all the success come to me. Also think for a moment. This is the last moment we're spending in this very lifetime. And detach your mind from all your past memories and as well as any kind of future thoughts. Just try to remain in the present moment, observing the sensation of your inhalations and exhalations. So in the beginning, deeply and gently, breathe in, breathe out three times and find the sensation, please. And allow your inhalations, exhalations happen itself and recognize it through the sensation. Do nothing extra.
Bring your attention to your body, please. Observe your posture. We cultivate loving kindness and compassion in our heart and radiate it as a light. Through entire your compound, village, city, state, country, world, around this universe. Also as far as you can through galaxies, other planets, stars. Reminding yourself like this. With clear intention, mentally repeat after me. May all living beings in this universe be well and happy. May everyone be happy and safe. And may their hearts be filled with joy. May all living beings live in security and in peace. Beings who are frail or strong, tall or short, big or small, visible or not visible. near or far away. Already born or yet to be born. May all of them dwell in perfect tranquility. Let no one do harm to anyone. Let no one put the life of anyone in danger. Let no one out of anger or ill will wish anyone any harm. Expand the loving kindness and compassion beginning from your heart. Forward. Visualize yourself and send it as a light. To your left side. To your left side. And to your right side. Downward. And upward. To all six directions at once, like the moon, the sun, spread the light, spread the energy, without any condition, without any limitation, without any resistance or without any judgment. Let your heart to shine with the loving kindness and compassion from the bottom of it with the maximum effort to the highest. Wishing yourself, may all living beings in this universe be well and happy. Sadhu, 
So first of all, we offer this practice to the great qualities of the Buddha, Dhamma and the Sangha. And also by the power of this meritorious deed, may all of us attain to the supreme bliss of Nibbana. May all your guardian angels and deities will receive these merits and increase their longevity and protect all of you from any kind of planetary influences or any ill effects. Ittavata chami sampadam punya sampadam sabbi deva numudan tu sabba sampati siddhya sabbe bhuta numudan tu sabba sampati siddhya sabbe satta numudan tu sabba sampati siddhya Maya Dhamma no Dhamma Patipati Abuddam Pujemi Dhamman Pujemi Sangam Pujemi Adaya Maya Patipati Ajati Jaravya Dimaranam Ha Paribunjisani Idame Punya Kamanga Savaka Avangotu Sabaduka Paminchatu Blessing.